This is E.T. And these here are Dr. Samuel Johnson and James Boswell, Johnson's biographer. Boswell's book, The Life of Samuel Johnson, is regarded even today as the greatest biography ever written in the English language. Both men, Johnson and Boswell, lived in England during the mid-18th century, and each demonstrated a strong affinity for boxing as both a fan and a participant. England at that time, when, by the way, George Washington was gaining fame in the colonies during the French and Indian War, England was garnering even more fame worldwide as, for want of better words, a social charnel house. Whereas one French writer put it, combats of men and animals were commonplace, and where such slaughter and blood existed, although banished from other nations' theaters. He went on to say, anything that looks like fighting is delicious to an Englishman. An appalled Pierre Grossly visited London in, I think it was 1766, and he documented stumbling over, as he put it, street scufflers at every corner. And he went on to wrote, and I'm quoting, Boxing was a species of combat not merely congenial to the character of the English, but inherent in English blood. And the random violence was not confined to the lower elements. James Boswell, who I mentioned earlier, was a member of the Scottish aristocracy. He was the third laird of Auchinleck. He was an attorney and, as you know, a writer, a very religious man, a strict Calvinist. But he, Boswell, enjoyed a good scuffle. His 13 June 1863 diary entry describes his trip to Vauxhall Gardens as quite delicious, not despite but because of a quarrel between a gentleman and a waiter. He goes on to report, a large crowd roaring, ring a ring, ring a ring. Now that was a signal to everybody to form a ring for the combatants to fight. Now I'm quoting Boswell, my spirits rose and I was exerting myself with much vehemence. At last the constable came to quell the riot Well, I seized his baton. It was in a good-natured way, which made him laugh. And I rapped upon the people's head, bawling out, Who will resist the peace? Ring a ring, ring a ring, unquote. Boswell also documents Dr. Johnson's fondness for the manly arts, an ability to jump from mere contentment to fury in a moment and then reconcile and apologize very quickly. That describes, by the way, Stanley Ketchell. A friend of Johnson's named Pierce Egan tells of this famous man of letters, Johnson, having a regular set to with an athletic brewer's servant, and I'm quoting Egan, who insulted Johnson in Fleet Street. Johnson gave the fellow a complete milling in a few moments, and he was striking proof of pugilism being a national English trait, unquote. A woman close to Dr. Johnson, a Mrs. Thrall, described Johnson as, quote, very conversant in the art of attack and defense by boxing, which science he learned from his uncle Andrew. Now Johnson, who wrote the most famous dictionary in the world, defined first in literary quotations the term boxer, a noun, and to box, a verb. And that dictionary survived as the English dictionary for a century and a half later. Both Johnson and Boswell were not the first, nor were they last, among the literata, the intelligentsia, society's upper crust, to display skill, courage, in fights, in the streets or on the battlefield. The Greek philosopher Socrates was well known for his skill as a hoplite, infantryman. The writer Epictetus described Socrates in these words, He in war exposed himself to danger most unsparingly. Then more recently we have Ernest Hemingway, Norman Mailer, George Plimpton, many others who have showed courage, if not professional level talent, in and outside of the ring. 
More facts about Dr. Johnson and James Boswell. Johnson was posthumously diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, which would cause him to yell out some inappropriate things, and that could have caused him to lash out verbally, resulting in some physical combat. Boswell, in real life, had his own psychological troubles. Again, a posthumous diagnosis. He's said to have been bipolar, and that could have predisposed him to some fistic clashes. Well, that's the story, or at least part of it. Did you enjoy it? Then like, subscribe, and share the videos. Thank you.